Weak, scarred and traumatized by months of conflict in Sudan, the Lions were evacuated by Four Paws International in what the organization called an ultra-sensitive mission. Representatives from Four Paws say the animals are physically hurt and suffering from serious health problems. Uh, animals are really in very, very, very bad condition, really a very critical situation, emaciated, apathetic, uh, they are afraid. I see all the platforms are destroyed, very strange. I can understand there is not enough care and no food, but I, I was not expecting this, to be honest. I was expecting it's better somehow, but it's worse than what I thought. The lions were rescued alongside 46 other wild animals. This mission, according to Khalil, is among the most important and dangerous carried out by his organization. The team work really under very hard condition. I mean, it's still a, a war zone. I mean, you can see behind and in front, outside. A lot of people have to care for the team here. Uh, sure, from time to time, we hear from far away some clashes. So it's a huge pressure on the team. But so we have to work still professionally. We have to focus. We are here to save the animal. To leave Sudan, the animals had to be injected with sedatives to ensure smooth transfer from their enclosures to the transport cages. The rescue mission had to be accompanied by security forces in order to ensure safe passage out of the conflict zone. The lion's new home is Lion's Rock Big Cat Sanctuary in the Free State Province. The sanctuary is a haven for big cats rescued from dire conditions worldwide. Right now the animals are in the care of um, our veterinarian team and animal caretaker team. They are going to be observed on a regular basis every day. And each animal that comes to Lion's Rock has an individual plan because these are individual animals. And they will be observed to see what their personal needs are and our team will adjust accordingly. Animal activists believe that the operation underscores the need for global cooperation to rescue animals from conflict zones to ensure their protection and preservation. Yulisan Jabela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.